Prepare and there we go, we go green now. There's Ethan as well, somehow he's finessed his way from 10 all the way up into third place already. Uh, going through the final chicane, he's lost his wing and there's Ethan I think going into the pit. And there's Shik. He has crashed out at the first chicane and it is gonna be a safety car. And now there is Solidic filling in for new mediums. And there is Doge, he has somehow already DNF out of the race. Yeah. Safety car will be in this lap according to the FIA. There's Razor, Shaded and uh, Ethan going through into the happen together. Ethan has now come out in the lead. Shaded could be running a lower down for setup and I think that was Ethan getting a cut in the background. So now he's dropped back two positions and that's Sogidic trying to take out, take second place out of Razor's hands and he has done so. And there is the rain. Rain has now arrived at New Zealand. And who's going to be coming in for the intermediates? Possibly Sogidic. Sogidic's in now. So Sogidic has triggered the undercut on Shaded and Ethan here. Who both have chosen to stay out. And there is Ethan and Shaded now coming in together for the pit stops. Sogidic now will inherit the lead. He has actually extended his margin, I think. He has. So Sogidic's had a great outlet on those intermediates. Ethan now is going to sail past Nay, maybe even Sogidic, no, Sogidic covers him off. And now the heavy rain has come in, are they going to pit or not? Yes, both of them comes, come in, I think I have a feeling Sogidic was just going to follow Ethan in here. Then there's Razor staying out, so Razor's decided to stay out of the pits here through the middle sector now. He hits the bump, he had a bit of a slide. Ethan now going side by side with Sogidic. Then and there's Razor, he goes deep. Razor's gone deep at the hairpin. And now Ethan's right behind Pigeon Man for the lead and Ethan goes past both of them. Ethan is now up into the lead as they go into the final few corners. Ethan crosses the line, he wins in New Zealand. Pigeon Man crosses the line in second, Sogidic in third. Razor finishes in fourth place. But it is the Alfa Romeo of Ethan who comes home in first place by just one second over Pigeon Man. Final corner. Two purple sectors. Boom. So that's a good one. Cool. Is it going to be 12 bro? 126! Right now, one second. 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 Right Jaden in the chicken fourth, Piavana fifth, Hassan sixth. Ethan, we pass, we pass. 
Oh, so we stamp it. 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 Oh, so we Oh, baby queen crashed. She lost his wheel. Safety car is up. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Turn ERS. Don't. Fuel mix on. Max. On max. And I think he's going. Oh, he's going. He goes. He goes. He goes. He caught. He caught everyone off guard. One point five seconds already. The lead. Solidic wins the Australian Grand Prix. Ethan has a purple middle sector though, so he might be able to improve. Oh, but he spins out! He crashes! That's a huge crash! Ethan just got a massive, massive crash there in the final sector. And it's lights out and away we go. Oh, and it's heavy rain. Right on lap one, it's heavy rain. And it's a red flag confirmation now. We go green back again in Canada. It's Ne who leads. Followed by Ethan, Asan in third somehow. Look at this, we have everyone pitting now. Just as I say that, Ne had a bit of a spin there. Oh, but now we watch to see here the battle for. Oh, and Soggy Dick slid, slid off uh, the track a little bit. That's gonna build the gap to Ethan a little bit now. So he has managed to close down the gap to. Under one second now. Now this is gonna be oh, Soggy Dick slid, slid a little bit, but he keeps it on the track. The gap is nine tenths now. The gap is just ever getting ever closer now. Oh, when Trex has crashed, safety car deployed. Oh, Soggy Dick slid off and he spins out. He spins out. He gives up track position, and Soggy Dick pits. Now Dodge leads the way. Ethan is catching up right there. 2.5 seconds to Dodge. Giovanna's in the pits. Ethan's also in. The all box for intermediates. Now the gap is 18 seconds. Are they gonna be able to close this in 6 laps? Dodge is gonna be trying to run away with for his life here. 17 seconds down the gap. Oh, Dodge pits! Now we're gonna have Ethan taking the lead of the race with Piovana in second. Ethan is now 4 seconds back. I don't think he needs to risk it and try to catch up with 4 laps remaining here. The race has been red flagged. This means that Piovana wins the Canadian Grand Prix. Ethan finishes in third and his championship rival Soggy Dick finishes down in sixth. Here comes Ethan now, round the final corner, he's got two personal best sectors, he crosses the line now, it's a pole with a 154. So Soggy Dick will be missing the US Grand Prix due to his controller failing to work. And we go green in USA, and Ethan gets a ma an amazing start off the line. Moto following right behind him. What's happened to the cat? The cat's already out! And it is a safety car, so all the drivers now will have to follow the safety car. As we cross the line to start lap 5 out of 23. Ethan goes, and he's got a big lead over the rest so far. Oh, and there's a f massive flip for Razor. Razor is already out and so is Rohan. Two cars have completely crashed out. So, oh, Ethan and has pit. Oh, and that's a team has completely crashed in the pit lane. What has he done? 
he's backing them way up. Now we cross the line, we start the USA Grand Prix and Ethan's had a shocking restart. He's already down to 8th it would seem. And Piavana's out. Piavana's crashed at the final chicane. That's right on the at the racing line and that's a safety car. No more safety cars after this and Moto's already bolted. He's already floored it at the start. He's caught quite a lot of them napping. Oh and it rains! It rains and with three laps to go! The rain is going up really quickly right now. Oh, motor slides! And Ethan, looks like Ethan's actually gotten the jump on everyone. He's come out first. He might be able to get more grip and it seems to be showing as Ethan completely gets swamped there. And motor spins and, mot and that is gonna cost him one and two and maybe even three and four places. Baffitt's actually right there in third place as well. He might still be able to snatch another three points off cap here. Ethan now crosses the line and wins the United States Grand Prix to become the first repeat winner of season one. Ethan going to the final corner now. He crosses the line. Back's pole position was 1099. What can Evan do about that? Can Evan snatch pole from him? No, he can't. 1103. So it's it's a fun little lockout again for Alfa Romeo with Ethan on pole and Evan in second. And it's lights out and away we go and that's the Alfa Romeo's getting a good start and so does Sorry Dick actually, Sorry Dick got a good start as well. He's already up into the lead and he's battling with Evan I think that is and Ethan as well for the lead. A swarm of mouse and oh and that's a big crash there for Moto I think. Yes it's Moto, he's had a big crash, he's flipped on the back straight and we do get a safety car. And Pigeon Man is in the lead in his Williams. Evan now in second place. Outgard is in third. We have BB Queen in fourth for Williams. He's defending against Soggy Dick, but nothing he can do. And BB Queen go goes completely off. He's done a his best imitation of Lewis Hamilton at Baku as he could. Oh, BB Queen has crashed at turn one, so he's out again. Oh, and th I think that's Evan, I believe, who's. No, that's Ethan who's trying to take. Second place. Going to the final corners now. He's gonna cross the line and win the sprint race in Great Britain. Outgard takes pole for position for the British Grand Prix and Ethan finishes in second. Who's gonna finish third? It's Soggy Lake. He finishes just in front of Evan to take third place and Evan will be on fourth. And it's lights out and away we go and Alka gets a bit of wheel spin on the start there. He goes a bit wide into turn 1 and I think that's already Solidic already, already taking the lead. So as we go through wide down into the final corner. And the MW slots ahead and then let's see. Looks like Alka's taken back second place. Now Ethan's managed to get into second. Oh and Poké Diggy's completely out of the track. Oh, and there's a big crash there. I think that's AMW. Speak of tire wear. Remember, Solidic is in his home race, so he would. Oh, and that's a big crash. I think that's Ethan. Is he out? No, he hasn't gotten damage. So, and oh, and that's a big crash there at turn one. What is 
that gonna mean? Is that gonna be a safety car? Oh, and that's a big crash there as well. I think that's Ethan who flipped that turn two, but he's got no damage again. And Solidix bolted, I believe. So he's caught a lot of the grid mapping. Now we've got Solidic with a big lead over ever now. It's redemption for Solidic. He wins in Great Britain. Ethan comes home in second place. I go steep and he spins, so that's Ethan slap over then. Right, so our grid will be Piavana on pole, Banana second, Soggy the Quinta, Ethan P6. And it's lights out and away we go in South Korea. And that's Soggy Dick, I think, getting a blistering start there. And now Ethan's taken the lead. And I think he had a bit of a moment there out of the corner, so that's gonna hurt him on exit. And he has lost the lead again to Sogidik. So that's- Oh, Sogidik's disconnected! Then that means Ethan now takes the lead of the race. Corner, and now Defit and Doge go side by side through to the final corner now. Oh, Defit pits! Alka also follows him into the pits. Doge does pit, so... He's reacting to Beth and Outguard. And Ethan stays out even longer on his tires. The gap is 4.8 seconds. He's gained a full second again in the first sector. It's 2.4 seconds. The gap's gone down 2.4 seconds in that. It's, it's completely been halved in the middle sector. Now heartbreaking zone. Beth takes the lead. Beffitt has taken the lead from the championship leader who falls to second. So this is not looking great for Alpha Male. Wait, was that Ethan slowing down? Wait, Ethan's frozen. I think Ethan might have disconnected. Wait. And Ethan disconnects. Ethan's disconnected. The championship leader has been disconnected from the race. So the top two in the championship are not going to be scoring any points here at South Korea. It's lights out and away we go. Buffy gets a load of wheel spin off the line, but overall a decent start. We got, uh, I think that's Doge in the background, or out guard. I think that's Doge actually, yeah, Doge got a supreme start. And there was a McLaren spinning off there, I think that might have been shaded. And then we have uh, a, a whole gaggle of cars following here. We've got a McLaren as well, somehow maneuvering him, themselves up into P3. Oh, Niz out actually, I'm not sure where he's crashed. Oh, that's sector 1, he's crashed at turn 2. So he's out of the race and there's a safety car now deployed. So that's already Moto sending it. Oh and he hits the wall there out of the, on the exit. So he's already got a massive lead. They might stay out and out got out of the race. Sorry Prime Drifter's out of the race. Prime Drifter's crashed. He's crashed just out of the pits. So that's gonna call out a safety car then. That's gonna spice things up. Uh, come on you can do this. I know you can. Oh, boost blocks is crushed and there's a safety car, so that's gonna keep the safety car out. Uh, even longer then. Now Moto's going then, Moto sends it. Moto's gone now. Time and Moto went wide and that's gonna be a cut, he's down positions and Evans now in the lead. The Kiva Warriors taking the lead of the race on a mouse track. His former teammate now is just under half a second behind and that's Buffett. Right behind as well, Infinity sliding everywhere. They're gonna cross the line. Who's gonna come out ahead? They're side by side across the line. Outgard takes second place. Doge comes in P3. Evan holds on to fourth place for Alpha Tari. That the championship leader finishes P6. Okay, up the line. That, that was pretty good performance. That was a good performance. Yeah. Not a bad performance.
and it's lights out. I know where we go. Officer Cap gets a bit of wheel spin uh, there at the start. We've got Prime Drifter trying to pull alongside. Solidix also got a decent start there. Okay, Solidix is the one who loses the swing. That's Solidix gonna be losing positions just like Elk did earlier on lap two, on lap uh, two out of thirty-five. Ethan here having a battle with uh, Jar here, who's trying to hold on to P7, but to no avail here. Oh, and that's it! That's Evan out! Evan is out! Evan's crashed! And we've got the safety car now deployed, so that means that the 5.3 second lead that Officer Cap had at the start of this race is going to be evaporated now. Trying to back these guys up as much as possible here. We've got some weaving going on in the background. Prime Drifter goes now. So Prime Drifter now leads the way with those uh, want uh, mediums, I think that those might be, or hearts. Oh, that's a flip! Ethan's flipped! Ethan has flipped, so that's gonna cost the championship leader a lot of positions. Ethan... Oh, Ethan crashes! Ethan's crashed! Ethan is out of the race! Surely then! Oh, and that's AMW crashing there as well! Ethan's lost his wing! And there is gonna be a safety car deploy a crawl right now, look at these guys going to the final corner and there we go, so they guys both there. And Infinity is up into first place, so Infinity now leads the way. Infinity is still holding on to the lead. So they hits the wall, the tire is really kicking in for those hot tires now. Ethan is right back, he just has to get a good exit out of the final corner now. Officer Cap down the final corner, he crosses the line to take the win for Officer C for Ferrari then. Ethan comes home in second place from a pit lane start. All drivers the getting their revs up as high as possible. And this is a green and flag. It's and and away we go. <laughs> and there's Officer Cat leading away. Moto has a and dreadful start. And there is an Alpha Tari getting a brilliant stab, and that's Evan. Up to P2 by the looks of it. Ethan now is going to fight his way up the grid to the championship leader. He's still got a 70, 61 point gap, I think, at the top. Interesting to see how drivers take it through sector 2 as well. It's a tight. Oh! Oh, that's Moto! Oh, He's out the Moto. race! He's out the race! That's going to be a Crashing safety car for sure. It is a safety car. Safety car after lap 4. I want to see everyone just jump up positions. He's pulling away from Infinity, that is a perfect restart from Soge. And that puts him a second, he's already a second in front of Infinity. Then Wooslox crashed. Wooslox. Oh, is that seven, where is he crashed? Seven. Oh, he's on the track, I think. Oh, that's in sector he's out one. Of the is that a safety car? That might be a safety car, we'll see. Oh, yeah, this is a safety, safety car. I wonder if that was as good as Soj, I think he's pulling away. Soj will get second place, yeah. Cap wins the sprint race, Soj will get second and Nee gets third for Aston Martin. Like, and where we go. So just a fast that's important. Ethan back up to P7. Oh, Ethan's in front of uh, Neon on our screen and he's up to third. So as it stands, I love Ethan is your world champion. As Pikachu is out. Pikachu he's out. out. No, he's just backing these guys up as late as he can. Oh, some guys have went though. Um, Ooh, some guys have gone, Infinity's had to go off. Sorry. So this is a replay of... Oh, that's gonna be a penalty for everyone who's ahead. That's gonna be a penalty for about six drivers, I think. Four, four. So out, out, AMW, Ninja and Ashan all will get penalties. Um, Just follow up after 
the moment if you can overtake them then Ethan Pitts Okay, round the final corner. Sorry that wins the, the Hungarian Grand Prix. He does, he wins. Big win for Soj. Ethan finishes in P3. Podium there. But it won't be enough to clinch the championship. So this means that uh, the championship will carry on to Greece. So has gone purple in the middle sector, so he's got a lot of pace right now, he's going through the final few corners, goes flat out, foot to the floor now to the line, it's a 1082 which means that puts him on provisional pole, Algar can only do a 1095, so that means that Sogidic will be on pole for the Greek Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Solidic gets a good start. There is Doge alongside him as well. But Solidic now holds on to the lead going into turn one. Doge now up into the lead. Doge has taken the lead from Solidic out of turn one. So now Solidic is trying to fight him back here. And Doge is still trying to hold on to that lead. And now Oh that's Prime Drifter has crashed out! Prime Drifter has crashed out at the chicane! And it is a safety car. So this is going to bunch everyone up and now we'll have to see if anyone decides to pit. So there is Sogidic coming into the pits. And does Ninja follow him in? No, but that is Doge coming in as well. And now Evans in as well. AMW in. Now we'll see where Ninja decides to go and we go green now. So Ninja is gonna go now as well. And I think that's an Alpha Romeo or Pikachu jumping a few positions. Oh and there's Alga who has crashed out. And Doge just crashed out. Doge just, just crashed out under the safety car. And what happened to Solidix? Solidix disconnected that's his championship over. That means that Solidix championship is now evaporating out of his hands. Motos actually dropped down and yes, as I see him, we see him spin out and now it's heavy rain! But now we're on board with the championship leader and now crossing through the final chicane he's gonna cross the line, he weaves around Ethan wins the first championship of FFR! Let's go! You are the world champion, mate. The first world champion of FFR. What a journey it has been.